Schools across the Wiregrass are gearing up for their students' return to campus. But for the Fort Rucker community, the start of this school year is a much bigger deal. Ileana Capian has more. Fort Rucker will be opening their new elementary school this fall, welcoming students for in person, remote, and virtual learning options. This truly has been a three year um, process of building this new beautiful school. So we have been in two locations now, running the primary school and the former elementary school in a temporary location. So to actually be able to walk down the hallway now and to look at what's coming, it's just really gives me goosebumps. The school is pre-K through sixth grade and a tri-level building. It is considered a 21st century school with a community collaborative feel. The whole building is designed with an Army Aviation theme, but also it's designed to be a learning facility. So as the kids go from one area to another, they're just not walking down halls of you know, brick and mortar. They're walking down hallways that have learning objectives. The hallways have interactive flat panels that have data dashboards which show information about the school's energy conservation program. As a DODIA school, they do not have to abide by Alabama guidelines when it comes to COVID-19 precautions, but they are still implementing certain guidelines. We are really concentrating on the CDC guidelines as well as their DODIA guidelines. We have our safety protocols, our health directives. We're working very hard to make sure that every area of this building is safe, both for students and for the staff members. The school has officially been named after retired Lieutenant General Ellis D. Parker. Covering local news first in Fort Rucker, Ileana Capian, WDHN. That school will be implementing a pre screening protocol requiring parents to temperature check their students before sending them to school. The same will be required of staff. The school has several unique features, including a band room, a science room, an art room, a garden, and even a rock climbing wall. And that school will be named in honor of retired Lieutenant General Ellis D. Parker. Lieutenant General Parker spent a lot of time in the Wiregrass even after he retired. He dedicated his life to Army aviation. Lieutenant General Parker died just a few months ago on March 26th. It's, it's perfect on so many levels to, to name the school for, for General Ellis D. Parker, you know, as the godfather of Army aviation. You know, you look at this school, uh, the design, uh, everything about aviation was considered in the design of the school. The theme is aviation, so most of the design features are shaped like aircraft wings and propellers. A grand opening and ribbon-cutting ceremony for that school is planned for September 29th.